Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. And if you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we are going to create some journal pages for a journal that I am making. This is my April journal and I talk a bit more about my monthly journals in another video that I probably should put up soon. Um, basically I'm going to make a journal every month and I was trying to figure out a way to have a tier in my Patreon where if you wanted to re be the person to reserve the monthly journal, you would sign up through Patreon, but that doesn't really work because that's more of a month to month thing. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but nonetheless, we're here to decorate some journal pages. So I already have all of the pages um, set out for this journal and we just need to go through and decorate some. And I wanna do that kind of easy. So we're gonna go through and just start with the first page here. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm trying a new filming position and I think this works way better because the camera's actually behind me and I'll just flip the video when, it, uh, when I'm editing. And then I have this whole space and I don't have a camera in front of me. I don't know why I haven't tried this before, but I'm gonna take this clear pocket here and I'm just going to place it on this little piece of paper and then you could just keep it like that and then put like a little tag or something but I want to decorate it as well so I'm using just a variety I'm trying to use like kind of basic supplies but I'm also using a variety of supplies from Taperlogy and your creative studio so let's see I want to make like a little um just a little decoration I guess on here so I'm just gonna start kind of placing some, I have some like little floral papers here. I'm just gonna glue that down. So I want this journal to be kind of a mix between some really decorated pages and then also lots of space to decorate, uh, to be decorated, I should say. I'm gonna put a few of these little wildflower stickers. They're like washi stickers, I guess do that and maybe one more and then the pocket still clear you'll still be able to see what goes in but you'll have like a little bit of something maybe I'll put like a little label right here I think that would look cute to finish it off and I don't think I'll put anything in the label because again I really want this journal to be able to be like used and have things added. Um, I will take my milled lavender ink. Just add a little bit of color. Kind of like that, just kind of messily. And sorry, I had my um, heater on in here and I just turned it off so that it wasn't too loud and I just realized that it actually takes a few minutes to turn off. So there we go. Um, I'm not sure what I will put. I'll probably make some kind of a tag to go ahead and put in here. I'm looking around to see. I know I have, I'm gonna grab actually a few tags that I have made already, I think. Maybe not. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll, We'll end up making one probably. Oh, just kidding, I do have one in here. <laughs> okay, so I have like a little collage kind of tag. It has um, wallpaper, and I'm just gonna go ahead and see if that will fit. <clears throat> there, I like that. And I like that it's a little bit bigger than the actual paper. But we'll just add a little ink to finish it off. That's why I like having handmade things like ready on hand to go because it just makes projects like this so much quicker okay so then ooh, that i should have flipped this around because that color but we would have ended up co covering it anyway so i'm going to keep that just how it is i think i'm going to sew lace on the edges so i want actually should we do tabs well we'll come back to that i don't know if i'll do it on this channel but um or on, the, on this channel, on this video, but I think we're just going to be cut decorating pages right now. So I have a few snippets that I already have made and I was thinking maybe I'll go ahead and add one here 
And for this, I'm just gonna glue around the edges so that it can be a little tuck spot as well. Cause I don't wanna cover up too much of this paper. I got this paper from uh, my friend's new Etsy shop. Um, Madeline Diet, I think I always forget, but I'll, I'll link her shop down below cause she has some really cute things that are um, good for junk journals and whatnot. Okay. I don't think I'll put things in the pockets right now. I might come back to that. Okay, <clears throat> what else shall we do? I mostly wanna focus on some of the white parts here. And so actually I think I'm gonna put this page in the center. I think I just like that a little bit better, but we're gonna go ahead and decorate this page. And I think I want to make like a full pocket using a botanical book page that I have here. But I want to grab some little scraps, some fabric scraps. I know I have a little bin somewhere that I started. Okay, got it. Here. This is actually the same fabric that I used um, on the cover. I just want to even it up a little bit, but I don't want to cut too much of the flowers away because they are beautiful. This is such a pretty fabric. I was very excited to use this. I still don't like the shape too much, but again, I don't want to lose too much of the flower, so... need to layer on some laces or something so again sorry I don't have everything in front of me I'll just grab a few little pieces that we can work with we got some cheesecloth now and some trims and laces okay so let's see what we've got we have some pretty trims in here Ooh, I don't remember where I got this from and I wish that I knew but that's gonna be a little too thick for this. Ooh, right here, okay. So I just need a little piece. Just want a couple different, different textures going on. Okay, so I feel like I should get my sewing machine going. I have it, but since I want to glue on, oh my gosh, sorry guys. Since I want to sew on lace, I think I'm probably gonna come back through here and do any of the sewing all together. Okay, so for now, I'll just add a little bit of glue where I want to place any of the fabrics. Okay, I am liking that. And let's use a little clip or, not a clip, but let me grab my little, see, I'm just not very prepared today, but that's okay because I think that's real life. When we are crafting, we don't always have everything in front of us, right? I mean, I should since I'm filming, but that's okay, okay. Here we go. And so I just wanted like a little, maybe that, a little safety pin, if you will. And we have a little pocket and I will just add glue now. And then if I want to add any sewing detail later, I can. Okay. We'll probably just do like five pages together here. Something like that, just a few. Okay, now I'm gonna take some ink. I should have done this before, but I didn't, so that's okay. Now we've got a cute little pocket. 
And again, I'll put things in the pockets a little later. I'm gonna keep the center page just how it is for now. <clears throat> for this page, I'm thinking of, maybe I'll use an envelope here. And again, we can decorate. So I'm gonna grab some kind of decorative papers. Oh, that one's really pretty. And I think this is a full sticker. Yes, I got this from, I'm gonna tear it down a little bit. I got this in my last Your Creative Studio box. <clears throat> and I didn't notice that it was a sticker right away, but that was kind of cool. Or kind of maybe like a washi sheet. I'm not even sure. Let's see. Yep, it's definitely sticky. Okay, so this is just going to be kind of decorative like that. And let's see, how do I want to do this? So for this, I'm just going to glue the flap. And we'll just glue the flap down and then it will be a little tuck area. Okay, just like that. And again, maybe I'll add even some more. Uh, let's do washi for this one. And I am gonna add a little bit of glue just because this washi is not the stickiest, although it's very pretty. But I don't feel like most washies are very sticky anyway, so. There we go. Very pretty, love that. Okay. I think that's all I'm gonna do to this one so far. But I do wanna add just a little something on here and I have these little tickets so I'm thinking I'll grab one hmm. this one right here tear it off and just trim it down to make it look more like a ticket let's add a little bit of cheesecloth behind it Kind of pull it apart a little bit there and this paper is so pretty that i don't want to cover it too much so we'll just glue down our ticket right next to that cheesecloth there we go okay really pretty and then again i'm gonna sew the pockets down when I add some lace. Um, I have these really pretty stamps from your creative studio too. I thought maybe we could add a little bit in the background here. Maybe just up here. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Maybe I'll grab one more. Oh, cause these are so pretty. And I'm not sure if this color will show up too much on this colored paper, but I'm sort of hoping just on the corner here. Kind of, but it looks fine, I think. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna do two more pages together. So we did like five, a little more than five. But let's go ahead and start with the next white page that we have. And again, I want these to be really easy, things that anyone can do. I'm gonna take a glassine bag and just to spruce it up a little since this is white on white, let's add a little ink around the edges. And I'm using milled lavender. It's a, a really pretty color, but it's also light. And so I like that when I'm not wanting to do such a like harsh, like vintage coloring to my stuff, I like to use something like that and then it just helps pop a little bit. Okay, so then I sort of want to do a little, oh, I haven't done stenciling in a while, but also let me add, 
I'm gonna do this stamp one more time. Actually, <laughs> sorry. I have so many of them that I feel like maybe I should use a different one. Um, I was going to do it to the background, but I'm thinking we're not going to really see much of that. But let's try it anyways, just to the edge here. There, I think that will show up maybe just fine. Then we're going to take our glassine bag and I'm going to add some stenciling to that. And one of my favorite stencils is this floral or it's a, like a wildflower one and i've used it so much i need to i thought i bought a new one now that i think of it i feel like i bought a new one one time and now i don't know where it is okay anyways i'm gonna just use that same ink and since mine's old i have to be careful because a lot of the pieces are like starting to kind of flip up and yeah And there's old ink on there, but you know what? It's okay. Okay, and then just go over here and finish this. And then I'm thinking of adding like maybe one more pocket on top of this. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> there, I like that. I like how that flower is kind of peeking out from behind and then we have this on top. But I was almost thinking of adding this, another little wallpaper pocket, but that covers it. So let's not do that. Instead, could do that. That's pretty, but that would look nice on a smaller page too. Oh boy, guys, I'm feeling indecisive. Let's just add like a little sticker. I haven't used stickers in a while and I'm really enjoying that. These ones are from Taperlogy, and I do have a discount code for that. And I think for this, I'm just going to place it up here. Like the little birds sitting up here on some flowers. Yeah, those are really pretty um, stickers. And then maybe we'll just finish it off with a little butterfly. We'll do this one right here. I really like these clear stickers that are on the little squares because it's just really easy to get the backing off. And we'll just put you up here. I don't, I feel like you have to be careful when you use stickers because if you go overboard, to me it can look just, I don't really know. I, I don't personally like the look, but everyone, everyone has their own preferences and whatnot, so. Okay, you know, I'm going to put glue just on three sides here, opening or keeping a side open. We'll just go like that. And then we can go ahead and place like a little paper on the side too. And then I'll, for now, I'll just use this wallpaper pocket and put it in here if that fits. Yep, we'll just do that for now. Okay, so there's number four, and then we need to do one more page, even though I'm also going to go ahead and glue that down. Actually, I'll clip that down, because it's kind of fun, I think, to have removable pieces in a journal. So we'll go like yeah, we'll actually put it on this side. We'll just clip it on. Okay. Let's just do the other side of this scrapbook paper. And I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do one of my favorite easy double pockets. So I'm just going to grab some scrap paper that I have already used in this journal. I think it's actually on the other side of this. Yes, it is, but that's totally fine. And we are going to Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to take this and measure. I want it to be about a little less tall than the 
page itself. So I'm just gonna actually use my scissors to trim that down. And then I think I'm going to actually double this up. Yes, let's do that for a change. And again, I'm gonna trim this one down just the same length. Okay, so we're gonna kind of layer these just to make a little bit of a more a wider pocket. Okay, so I really just want a little bit peeking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue. I think I wanted it like right about there. Now, if you can see, I'm only gluing around the edges like that because I'm thinking we can probably make that into a little hidden area too, maybe. I don't know. I need to trim this a little bit better though. I do know that. Eh, we'll probably just do what I'm... We'll stick to my original idea. Never mind. Never mind the, the hidden spot. But I do have a video coming showing you lots of hidden journaling spots. Um, pages, if that even made sense. Okay, I'm gonna fold this in half, like that, and I'm going to take my ink so that you can kind of tell that it's a double pocket rather than just one large. And I'm gonna take my circle punch, and I'm going to cut out half a circle. I I've made this double pocket so many times that I'm sure most of you have seen it. Now I'm looking for my stapler, stapler, where are you friend? We don't know where you are. We found you, we found you. <laughs> and I'm loving this little tool and if you haven't seen it then I'm surprised but I'm gonna go around the edges here just a little bit, just for some detail. And I know that some people have had trouble seeing what it's doing. So if you are one who's wondering, well, first of all, it holds your papers together just like a staple, but it's like creasing the papers together, or it's not creasing, but it's uh, it pinches them together, I guess. But the reason I'm liking it is because it adds a really pretty detail, which I know it's hard to see on camera, but it adds like a little crimped effect. That's kind of what it's doing is it's crimping the papers. So I'm loving it. I use it a lot. It definitely, if you're doing a lot, it can get a little tiring, just like, you know, paper punches tend to get a little um, tiring after a bit. But if you add ink to those spots, you can kind of see a little bit better. And in person, you can definitely see it as well. So let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. I mean, it's definitely hard to see on camera. I don't even know that you can see that. But it's really cool. <laughs> Okay, so now for the next part, we're just going to glue around on the three sides, but first let's add a little bit of pretty trim in the center. That's kind of where I like to decorate that. I am really liking this blue that I've already used, so. Yeah, my only complaint about that little this little tool is I wish that you could use it further in. That would make a really nice difference. So kind of a bummer that you can't, but maybe they'll come out with one. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some glue across here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to straighten this uh, trim out as much as I can. It's kind of curly, but I'm gonna keep all of the extra little strings and everything because I like how that looks. Okay. Yeah, so these are all really easy 
page ideas, not using a sewing machine. Like I said, I might go back in and add some sewing detail, but I don't really think that it's necessary either. Okay. Maybe another label. We'll add just our ink. And you can decorate these as much as you want, or you can leave them more plain. There's just a, a lot of room to kind of change it up however you like it. Put a little more washi tape that way. Take the sticker backing off here. Kind of go like that, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. And then why not add one more little sticker, just a little one like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, now just add our glue. And for this, I like to add glue around the border, the three sides at least. But then I also like to add glue in the center so that it is actually two two pockets rather than one. And you can do however you would like because you could just keep it one big pocket and make it kind of look like it's two. It really just depends on what you prefer. But there we go. Okay, so now we are, I think, done decorating, but I thought it would be fun to just use some paper to make two little tags that could come out on the side here. I am going to grab a smaller tag. Actually, I'm going to grab this little library card just to help me as a guide to cutting straight lines. Okay. Kind of sticking with the theme of wildflowers. And then I will just make the corners angled like that. Like that. And then I'll use this one as a guide to cut the corners on here. And then again, just going to use ink. One there. There. Now I probably will go ahead and use a hole punch to go ahead and then I can add um, some trim for, whoops, <laughs> I really messed that up, but that's okay, for the top of the tag. I wish I remembered where I got that trim from, that little bag of trim. I don't know, it might not even be one place, but I really like it. I had a hole punch that I got from a laminator, but the question would be, where did I put it? Well, I'll use this for now, but I don't always like to get this out just for holes, even though it does a great job. I'll just do, I'll just pretend like I know where the center is. Okay. Put you back there. Grab my trim. And just loop it through. And then I basically have two of these signatures decorated for the most part. 
And I hope that you guys got some inspiration or ideas for how to decorate your journals if you are maybe feeling stuck or just needed some ideas. And I, as always, I appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. And I will be sure to show you what this journal looks like when it's complete, um, whenever that is. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.